Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be redoing a print that I've done previously through a technique that is very very simple and very very easy to replicate and that is just using a water-based ink and adding water to your perspex or printing service printing service printing surface and this is what I've got at the moment but because of last time when I peeled up all the ink from this section obviously went onto the paper because you can see this is the off print from it and I just really want to spread it out a bit more not as clumpy not to say the rest of it didn't work I thought the rest was really spectacular but this bit just needs to be changed a little bit and simply I'm just going to use my roller pin and just kind of When you do put the ink perspex on top, it will change and kind of go blocky. That's just basically the ink changing course. This has dried a little bit, so using water infused paper will help with reactivating the ink a bit more. So here we go. This looks a lot more, this looks a lot different compared to the last print. But again, every single print that you do with this is individual and unique, and yet it's from the same amount of ink, roughly. Okay, making some really beautiful marks already. What you see on this, this perspex isn't necessarily what's going to come out. A lot of you may have noticed that from the last video if you watched it, if you haven't, the link is in the description because it all changes as soon as you lift up the perspex and the weight changes throughout causing some of the blockier areas to spread about. This is much more of a mark making version. I'm hoping I'm going to get some bit, a bit more depth to this one compared to the last one. There we go. As you can see, not a lot more ink has come off. It's kind of gone from one extreme to the other. Maybe I should have just left the large block of ink up here and maybe not spread it out as much because you can see a lot of shades of colours throughout. This is completely fine with the Perspex on. It did look a lot better, but as you peeled it off, not all the ink from perspex transferred onto the paper. This isn't a big issue. I can pr quickly, very quickly go back and put a bit more ink onto this perspex and do a reprint, or I can wait for this to dry and do a completely new print on top of it in a different color or a different size perspex that is smaller than A3, A3, A4. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also leave a comment down this in the comment section below of what you thought and anything you would like to say and I shall see you guys very very soon. Bye now!